and welcome to my video series of molecular biology explained in 3 minutes where I explain a concept in molecular biology in less than 3 minutes or so. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. These videos are not so detailed but it has all the necessary information which can save your ass in the day of your exam. And I'm also present in An Academy, which is India's biggest online learning platform. In order to join An Academy, you can use my code to get 10% discount. My code is epi10. Now let's talk about DNA ligase. DNA ligase is one of the most important enzymes used day to day in molecular biology lab. It simply creates a phosphodiester bond between a juxtaposed 5' phosphate and a 3' hydroxyl termini of a DNA. Now it uses ATP for its function. So in this video, we'll look at how exactly DNA ligase work and the mode of catalysis of DNA ligase. So stay tuned till the end of this video. In replication, the polymerase progress in 5' to 3' direction and synthesize the strands, be it leading strand or lagging strand, in a template in a primer dependent manner. So you need to have a primer on back of which the polymer is polymerizing it. Now at the end of the replication, these primers, which is marked in yellow here, is removed by certain enzymes, but a gap remains between the last two nucleotides. And this gap between two ribose sugar is basically a phosphodiester bond. So you have an open 3' hydroxyl terminus at one side, and it really needs to get sealed and forming a phosphodiester bond, which is performed by the DNA ligase. Now, DNA ligase is a day to day enzyme used in molecular biology lab which is exclusively using cloning techniques. You remember the cloning technique workflow? So first you have to restrict digestion your vector, then you can restriction digest your gene of interest, followed by there is a DNA ligation step where you insert your gene of interest inside the vector, and then you can transform it into a E. coli, and then the grow the E. coli in bulk as the E. coli grow, your gene of interest also amplify. Now, how DNA ligase work? DNA ligase first use ATP, so it forms a complex with the ATP at the first. Now, ATP binds very near to the active site of the DNA ligase and forms a ATP ribose adduct kind of thing. Now, after that, the three prime hydroxyl group is the key player in this process because key three, three prime hydroxyl group of the open strand here works like a nucleophile which attacks the DNA, the active site of the enzyme where there is a phosphate group and ultimately with the molecular rearrangement this phosphodiester bond is formed between the 5' prime terminus and the 3' prime open hydroxyl group and that is how a phosphodiester bond is formed by the DNA ligase and when the DNA ligase forms a phosphodiester bond it gets disengaged from the DNA strand and the DNA strand is finally ligated and having the phosphodiester bond. So in lab how we do is like take purified plasmid, put it in a reaction mixture tube, then you take insert which is your vector and generally you put more insert than the vector and in a 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 5 ratio and you incorporate it into the tube. Then you add the ligase enzyme and the buffer which contains ATP because ATP is super duper important for this ligation step. Without ATP, ligase cannot work. And then you put it in the tube. After that, you incubate it for some time and expect the ligation reaction to happen. Generally, you incubate overnight or say let's say for a half an hour and then you can really check that the ligation took place or not by running it in agarose gel. In this particular example, you can see the first lane has an insert and the vector, which is only vector, restriction digested vector, is coming in a, at a shifted location because it is bigger than the insert. But see the last lane where the recombinant plasmid is there having the, ve having the insert inside the vector. So that recombinant vector right now can be distinguished in the agarose gel electrophoresis if the ligation is successful then you can do a quick transformation and wait for overnight to get a recombinant colony and that is how you perform the cloning experiments right and if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you